Well, in case you missed it, the Yoel Reign unveiled new branding at the top of the year and are now Seattle Reign FC. The transformation is a throwback to the club's original name and crest, which features the popular crown now in gold, also in blue, as you see there. The team played its inaugural season with similar branding, branding back in 2013. <laughs> I had a chance to talk with the woman behind the new switch, the VP of Marketing, Michelle Haynes. This is what she had to say. Part of what really moved it forward, we obviously are in um, a moment of transition just in general, um, but really a lot of it was just really looking back at our team's legacy and our roots and just feeling connected to our city and Seattle again. Um, this, this brand, this crest, it just has such a deep affinity from fans, from players, from our coaches. So we did look at, you know, several different ideas to see what would be right in this moment. Head coach Laura Harvey will continue her run with the team with newly signed international players along with others. Angar James, Lily Woodham and Ji So Yoon. Seattle Reign FC kicks its season off with a home match this Sunday, March 17th at 3 p.m. against the Washington Spirit. In Beyond the Buzzer, you may have already seen the Reign unveiled new branding at the beginning of this year. They're returning to their roots going back to Seattle Reign FC. Yeah, the transformation is a throwback to the club's original name and crest, which features the popular crown now in gold. The team played its inaugural season with similar branding in 2013. I had a chance to talk with the woman behind the new switch, the VP of Marketing, Michelle Haynes. Here's what she had to say. A little birdie told me you are the woman behind this complete <laughs> rebrand, um, re-envisioned Seattle Reign women's soccer team. It's very exciting. Can you just first start off by telling me why um, this even came about? Yeah, well, I want to start off by saying that this, you know, it takes a village and we have a very small village, incredibly talented team that pulled this off in-house with some uh, dedicated vendors that we work with. So um, certainly helped to move it forward and lead on the execution, but um, this just was a tremendous effort in a short amount of time with our team. Um, and then, yeah, I think part of what really moved it forward, we obviously are in um, a moment of transition just in general, um, but really a lot of it was just really looking back at our team's legacy and our roots and just feeling connected to our city and Seattle again. Um, this, this brand, this crest, it just has such a deep affinity from fans, from players, from our coaches. So we did look at, you know, several different ideas to see what would be right in this moment. Can you kind of expand more about those roots and just give a little bit more of the background, uh, how the club kind of started with the the original, I guess, look, if you'd say, even even the team name? I think when the league started, it was, you know, scrappy and gritty and, uh, you know, we didn't have the type of coverage or investment and growth that we're starting to see today. So, so much of that start, from what I understand, uh, this, this crest, this mark really embodied just the spirit of this team. I think when you see the brand out there, and I felt this when we launched it, it really represents the confidence of who we are. It represents the strength and the personalities of the players and what we're looking forward to. I just have one more question for you. You spoke a little bit about how this is going to be a season of change, a season of transition, obviously with uh, Megan Rapino retiring, but there's a lot to look forward to. Can you talk about what you all as a club are looking forward to and, and what the fans can expect? Absolutely. I mean, I think we're still, we made it to the finals last year. It certainly didn't end the way we hoped to, but I don't think that takes away from the depth and the talent of our team. We still have one of the greatest teams in the league. And uh, throughout our history, this team has been competitive. We've been to the postseason seven times. So there is no doubt that that will continue. Laura Harvey continues to be our coach. So any fan who follows us and knows she's the winningest coach in the league 
and uh, everyone who plays for her believes in the plan and the systems that she puts into place. It's season off with a home match on Sunday, March 17th, that's this Sunday, mm -hmm. at 3 p.m. against the Washington Spirits. We also learned this summer the Seattle Reign FC will retire Megan Rapinoe's number 15th jersey. It will happen during a match at Lumen Field against the North Carolina Courage on August 25th. They're definitely in good hands with Coach Harvey, yeah. like Michelle said, yep. winning his coach in the Women's Soccer League. It's a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. They've got a bunch of new players, a new look. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for those games. Games. I love that they've gone back to their roots yeah. with the name and the crest and I love the the gold jackets that you saw the the athletes wearing yep. in some of that video it looks super sharp Sounders also have a game or a match tomorrow at Lewin Field at 12:30 against the Colorado Rapids so lots of soccer happening mm -hmm. in Seattle this weekend we should also mention they also recently got a rebranding too they so, did as well uh, yeah. yeah support our um, our soccer teams that's mm -hmm. right